Men's basketball wins big over JU in the River City Rumble, and women's basketball gets ready for their two-game homestand. All that and more on this week's edition of Monday Minutes on Osprey Sports Network. The River City Rumble was this past Saturday and was a near sellout with 5,807 people in attendance. The women's team squared off with the Dolphins early in the game. Claire Ioannidis led the team with 13 points. The Ospreys led in the first quarter but went on to lose the game. Um, I was really pleased with the start of the game. Um, I thought we got off to a great start. We were able to do the things we need to do, things we prepped and felt good about our, our team. We played a lot of emotion, a lot of fight, um, and, and got after it. Um, JU, they did a great job of um, adjusting, um, and they went to more, sp more aggressive zone action, which really just took us out of our, our, what we were trying to get done. Uh, they did a really good job and forced their players to make plays, and um, we, 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 um, it, we didn't handle it very well. Um, our turnovers late in the first half um, got them back in the game and gave them some momentum, led to directly to points for them. And, um, and we weren't able to get shots for the people that needed to get, take shots. And uh, unfortunately, obviously, it looks towards our, um, you know, what, 18 points in the second half. Uh, but, um, you know, so we, we just have to find a way to be able to sustain that first quarter uh, for a longer period of time and, um, and be able to handle. I mean, we struggled a little bit with pressure all year. And, um, you know, we've gotten better as the year has gone on. And we just got to continue to get better as, as we continue to get through conference play. The men's team won over the city rival JU in the late game, 83-68. Senior forward Demarcus Daniels matched his season high with 22 points and snagged 10 rebounds. Forward Chris Davenport had his third straight double-double with 12 points and 11 rebounds. I thought our guys did a phenomenal job of doing what we expected them to do. And I thought our guys did a phenomenal job of guarding, which led to preparation, which led to why David beat Goliath, everybody thinks it was whatever it wasn't, it's because of preparation. So we talked about preparation and how important it is, and that's why we guarded him so well. You know, 0 for 9 from 3 wasn't an accident, and uh, Dawkins got cooking a little bit in the second half, but Bebe did a great job of, of leading the guys out there when we switched to zone, and uh, it, it, I think they cut it to one. Dallas made a couple free throws. We got like four or five stops in a row. Next thing you know, we got up to 16 or 18, um, and it was because of a lot of different – uh, conglomerations. Obviously, Bo got in foul trouble. We had to play him with four. We subbed him in early. I'm not a big believer in letting guys just sit there and and not play. Um, I'd rather roll the dice a little bit and let him get back on the floor and play. And Bebe had four, and um, um, I think Aaron might add four as well too. So we had a lot of guys who were in foul trouble. You know, th th this is a special group, and they got a chance to continue to be special. And I thought our student body that, that helped lead into the 5800 was here tonight. I thought the community was out in full force, and, and it was a great UNF crowd, and um, I was really, really pleased with the atmosphere and, and how our guys responded to the atmosphere. Both teams have finished their non-conference schedule and have begun their quest to tear through the A-Sun. Rejoice, Osprey fans. Both teams have two games before heading back out on the road. The women play Kennesaw State Saturday, January 16th, and Lipscomb Monday, January 18th, before facing new conference opponent NJIT in Newark. Meanwhile, the men's team will play host to Lipscomb Thursday, January 14th and Kennesaw State on Saturday, January 16th before going to Spartanburg to face off with USC Upstate. Well, that's all we have for you on this edition of Monday Minutes. For all of us at Osprey Sports Network, I'm Katherine Marsh. I'm Elizabeth Norton. Have a great week and, and go, go Ospreys! Ospreys.